Wog One viewers, it is me, Jack Cox. Don't laugh. And welcome to another My Top Something Favourite Somethings vlog. Uh, doing a, it's a little series I'm doing just to say my top something favourite stuff like sports teams uh, and stuff. Yeah, I'm not going to reveal any more because it will ruin the surprise. Now, today's topic is about my top 10 favourite TV shows, but first... I just want to add on two other sports teams to my top 12 list. These teams are... Number 1, Brazil football team. And number 2, the England football team. It's bad, I know! <laughs> anyway, back to the top 10 list vlog. To d as I said earlier, today's topic is about my top 10 favourite TV shows. Uh, so these like, are my favourite TV shows I've been watching recently. Uh, some of them have finished, and now I have to wait for like the rest of the year for them to start season 3. Uh, or and 2. But most of them, they're still going, no matter what. They're just like repeats of a season. They're not like new episodes, they're just old episodes. Uh, you'll see what I mean when I go through the list. So, uh, here it goes. Now, at number 10, it's Atlantis on BBC One. And for those of you who have not been watching it, it's about this guy called Jason, who's a British guy, who uh, goes transports to another world called Atlantis that is not underwater by the way it's on this like near this beach and uh, he goes on adventures with Pythagoras minus who has minus the beard and gray hair and Hercules who is believe it or not a fat slob you heard my words a fat slot. Now, I put I say I put the show at number ten because it's to be honest, it's nothing compared to what you are about to hear next. At number nine, it's Doctor Who. Yes, you heard my words, Doctor Who. The ones with pretty much I mean I've seen the ninth doctor, the tenth doctor and the eleventh doctor and only a glimpse of the twelfth doctor. Uh, hopefully the 12th Doctor won't be disappointing because to be honest Matt Smith's exit was pretty poor if I'm honest. Pretty poor compared to the other ones. Yeah. Now I put the show at, no at number 9 because I wouldn't say it was my favourite show. I mean it is one of my favourite shows but to be honest it's it just keeps on finishing, it only airs occasionally. Well, not really occasionally, it just hasn't been... I haven't heard from it recently. I don't even know when the series is going to start up again. Hopefully soon. Uh, I, hope you, I hope you're thinking the same as me, guys, because, you know... You know. You know, you know, you know. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. At number eight is The Musketeers on BBC One. It's a pretty good show. You obviously know and heard of the Three Musketeers and D'Artagnan. So like, you know, D'Artagnan, Arthas, Porthos, uh, Aramis. And like, they go on adventures that do not really, they do lead up to like a season finale. So like, there's something big's happening at the end. It's got some American actors in it, funnily enough, and as no wonder it said BBC America after the end credits. Uh, I mean, it's not really much sword fighting as in other media, but what the hell, it's a good show. At number seven is South Park. Now, you guys, most of you, I'm sure, would have heard of South Park, but for those of you who haven't, it's about these four boys called Stan, Kyle, Cartman, and Kenny, 
Uh, Stan is pretty much the only normal person in South Park. Kyle is, like, more or less the same. He's best mates with Stan. Uh, Cartman, Cartman is, like, just the hate, is like fat kid to pretty much not a lot of people like, except his mum, who's a bit psychopathic. Or psychopathic, if you know what I mean, just, if it's even a word. Um, so, like, it's no wonder that Kyle and Stan don't really get along with him. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah, and Kenny is this orange headed guy who pretty much always dies. And at what, one point, he's like, he died for, for good, almost. Yeah, so like, he almost died for good, but then he got brought back to life. Yay! At number six, it's lucky there's a family guy. That's right, it's family guy. I'm sure most of you would have heard it, surely, like, watched it, but again, for those of you who have not watched the show, it's basically a, it's basically like a Simpsons related show, but for aimed at like people aged 15 and over. And it's about this family consisting of Peter, Lois, Chris, Brian, Stewie, and Meg, who no one really likes a lot, and nobody cares about her, because she's a bitch. So, uh, basically, uh, yeah, it's pretty much like The Simpsons, but eight for 15 year olds and all that. It's got, like, quite a lot of gags and jokes. At number five, it's American Dad. Yeah. Now, uh, I said earlier in this video that it would be a top ten list, but when I made a mistake, and I just remembered another favorite show of mine, which is American Dad, so I'm making this the top 11 favorite shows. Now, American Dad, it's made by the same people who made Family Guy. And again, it's about a family, because, like, a Amer typical American family, but the dad works in, for the CIA. Uh, his characters are Stan, um, Roger... Francine. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, who else? Well, I can't remember any of the other characters' names because I haven't been watching it a lot. But it's a pretty funny show. In my opinion, it's a way lot funnier than Family Guy because it's got less gags. So it's got like, it's got less of. Uh, Oh my god! You're worse. It's worse than the time when the Peter tried to pretend to be a Hasidic Jew to get off work. You know, it's got less of those kind of gags, it's... which is pretty good, if I'm honest. At number four, it's The Big Bang Theory, and it's pre and it's it's the same by the same people who make Two and a Half Men. The characters are. It's about nerds and a girl. It's about Sheldon, Leonard, Raj, and Howard, and Penny, who's like not is the least nerdiest character. She's not really a nerd. She's like the hot chick of the show, and all of the nerds fancy her. But the person nerd who fancies her the most is Leonard, and at one point, she he goes out with her, but then they break up. That's all I'm going to say about the show, but don't give any more away, just watch it and then just find out other stuff for yourself. At number three, it's Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, sorry. I'm only I was actually, I was only joking, it's two and a half men. Now, there are like, in like the older seasons, the characters were Alan, Jake, and Charlie. But then in the newest seasons, Alan and Jake are still in it, but then Charlie, uh, warning, spoiler alert, dies, apparently, so he gets replaced by Ashton Kutcher. Yep, that's right, Ashton Kutcher. Oh. 
Yeah. Now, I made a mistake in the last bit, because actually at number three it was Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., but like, like I said, it's the top 11, so you know. Yeah, top three is Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. It's like a spin-off series of the Marvel films. It k takes off right off right last, like, where it ended at, like, in the Avengers Assemble film. Uh, so, like, and the, as the series progresses, it, like, collaborates with For the Dark World and uh, Captain America and the Winter Soldier. And, um, yeah, it was just, the, season, the first season just ended, uh, it left off with a cliffhanger, it was a bit of a weird cliffhanger, but I think I pretty much knew what it meant, yeah, uh, you can catch it on 4OD, or just buy the season 1 DVD, your choice, it's, I recommend it if you're a Marvel fan. No, honestly, I do. Number two, it's Revolution. It's created by the same people who made Lost. And what it's about, it's set in a world, an apocalyptic world without power, power, so nothing that runs on electricity or any kind of power does not work. So cars, ovens, even like security systems. So like people could just break in the house and say, murder them or other unpleasant such things. So uh, the characters are Miles, Monroe, actually no, uh, Miles Matheson, Rachel Matheson, Charlie Matheson, uh, Sebastian Monroe, Aaron Pittman, uh, Priscilla something or other. Tom Neville, who is played by the guy, played by the black guy, who also plays Gus Fring in Breaking Bad. And also, his son Jason Neville, who, uh... Warning, spoiler alert, I'm sorry for spoiling this, who, if you haven't seen it, who dies. Um... It's quite a good show, it's kind of related to Game of Thrones in a way, in my opinion. But I, w I wouldn't say it's as, it's as good as that, but it's a good, It's I think it's a good show. Uh, season, it just, season 2 just finished. I heard that season 3 is not gonna air on NBC in America. But hopefully it'll air keep airing on another channel because Season 2 left with a cliffhanger. It was a bit of a freaky cliffhanger, if I do say so myself, but still, I want to see what happens next, like involving Miles and company, you know? And finally, it has all come to this. And number one, it is the one, the only. The first drama I have watched. It's Arrow. That's right, Arrow. A R R O W. Arrow. And for those of you who have not heard of it, it's um, created by the same people who made Smallville and a little thing called Game of Thrones. And it's about the superhero, Green Arrow. Who's like quite a dark hero? Is inspired. It's like a mixture of Sam Raimi's Spider-Man and The Dark Knight. Like it's like the drama is like that. And uh, season two has just finished with a bit of a cliffhanger. Uh, hopefully, season three will continue to air because I really want to see where this whole thing goes. Um. Yes. And uh, there are no stars from Game of Thrones or Smallville, sadly. But still, it's a good show. I mean, 
in like the episodes, they show parts of where Oliver Queen. In fact, let me start again. This basically the story, the superhero origin is that Oliver, this millionaire playboy called Oliver Queen, gets stranded on an island for five years. Then he returns home to fight crime as Green Arrow, using a bow and arrow as his weapon against crime. And so, like, he, you know, he doesn't kill them, despite the fact that he uses arrows, he doesn't kill people, it just, he did kill people, but he stopped now. Um, and during the episodes, it shows bits of when Oliver was on the island, and, like, bits of the present day. Yeah. So, like, what's going on today? And like I said earlier, season 2 has just finished, but you can still catch up on the Sky Go, I think. Yeah, Sky Go. I think you could, could do the same with Revolution, with season 1 and season 2, so be sure to check them out. I recommend it, so you guys go and check them out right now. Well, sadly, that's it for today's My Top Something Favorite Somethings vlog. But don't worry, because if you subscribe, I have more videos coming my, your way. Like, sooner than you think, almost. Like, maybe even... Buy a window... Also, be sure to check out my previous videos by clicking below where it says Jackie Boy Films. So you can just go to my channel and check out my previous videos from way up to when I started in March. And uh, if you like this video, be sure to like and share it with your mates. What else? And uh, like I said, most importantly, please, please, please don't forget to subscribe. Le read my lips. Subscribe. Say it with me. Subscribe. 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 Subscribe.